I'm exploring one of the Yorkshire Dale's longest and most beautiful valleys. Rising on the high moors of Langstrothdale Chase, the infant River Wharf passes through the hamlets of Yockenthwaite and Hubberholm to the village of Buckton at the head of what is known as Wharfdale. Well, 1988, the year I first came here to the Dales. Now, what else in life was I doing at the time? Well, work-wise, I was in this job in the County Council that I'd not been happy in for a long time, but I was due to get a new job, promotional job, in a different department where I ended up becoming a lot happier, much happier indeed. Now, socially, well, I used to hang around with this group of guys that I'm not in contact with anymore, but when I was still in my early 20s, we still used to go night clubbing and we used to go drinking in city centre bars. And I do remember going into this one bar, which was a regular of ours every weekend. There was a girl who worked behind the bar that one of my friends took a real fancy to. And uh, he just didn't have the courage to ask her out. I think he ended up getting to know her a little bit. He sort of started talking to her and stuff and she seemed quite friendly. Um, but he just didn't have the courage to ask her out. And that went on and on for weeks and weeks. Um, and then we sometimes saw her down one or two of the nightclubs we went to. And uh, he spoke to her for a little while down there but still never actually asked her out. And then there was one incident I remember where we did see her in this nightclub and she just didn't seem to, I don't know what it was, it was just like, if there was any interest on her side, it had gone. I remember she looked at my friend like he was something stuck at the bottom of her shoe. I, I don't know what it was, it was weird. And it really upset him, it really upset him, so... I wrote a song about it. I actually wrote a song about that. The song was about the Yorkshire Dales, actually. Because I wrote the music about when I first came here. So the music reminds me of the Yorkshire Dales, but the lyrics I wrote about this girl that my friend fancied and how he became hurt by her. I fell for you, babe, the very first time I saw you in the museum Where you sat with your friends, you looked my way Smiling over your face, my instincts told me that you had eyes for me You drew me to you when I thought that you cared I've never felt so good before I've never loved a girl like you before I thought you cared for me girl You showed signs so well, nothing seemed to go wrong, you'd be your smiles, it kept me drawn to you, I couldn't ask you, I didn't want to get hurt, I felt too bashful, never knew what to say, but 
down at the disco when I saw you there. Your moods were so different, I don't know why. You really hurt me, was there a reason why? Well, I'm approaching a really gorgeous village in the Orchard Dales, one of my personal favourites. Kettlewell lies at the feet of Great Wernside and Buckden Pike, where Parkgill Beck joins the River Wharf. At this location, both River and Beck are joined by attractive stone bridges. The B6160 crosses the River Wharf into Kettlewell by a stone bridge. Three pubs, the Racehorses, the Bluebell and the King's Head, confirm the village's popularity with visitors, as do its numerous guesthouses, holiday cottages, youth hostel and village store. In the 13th century, a market was established in Kettlewell, which became a thriving community. Textiles and, in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, lead mining revitalised the village, and Kettlewell's appearance today gains much from its past 200 years. Well, I stayed at the youth hostel here in Kettlewell in 1988, and what I do remember about it was on my arrival, the guy on the front desk when you checked in, I recognised him as having worked at Ambleside Youth Hostel the year before when I stayed there. So I thought it must be quite nice if you work for the Youth Hostel Association, you can stay in one area like the Lake District and then move on to the Yorkshire Dales. That must be really nice, a real perk for working for the YHA. Well, it was time to move on from Kettlewell, so I continued following the river wharf downstream towards my next stop. By late afternoon, I was in the small town of Grassington, the main residential and tourist centre in Upper Wharfdale. Centred around its small cobbled square is a selection of shops, pubs and the village museum, offering food, clothing and gifts, alongside small cafes, restaurants and hotels. Rassington Folk Museum houses a collection which tells the story of Wharfdale. It is an independent museum, run and managed by volunteers. Grassington Festival is a two week long annual event encompassing music, performance and visual arts held in a variety of venues around the village. 
In 2008, it included acts by Joe Brand, Dara O'Brien, Claire Teal and Toya Wilcox. In the winter, Grassington also hosts the very popular Dickensian Festival, when the entire village is taken over by Dickensian costumes and Christmas activities, and opportunities to purchase Christmas presents. So that's my tour of Upper Wharfdale, another great day spent in the wonderful Yorkshire Dales. <laughs>